Hello, my friends. My name is Darren Gertis, and here are the three big stories for today. It is Friday, May 10th. So if you've been following the news today, Russia launched a new offensive targeting Kharkiv. Kharkiv is a city that is 1.5 almost million in, before the war. It's down to about 1 million, but it's the second largest city in Ukraine. And if they could take that city, that would be a huge prize for uh, Russia. I don't think that's what's going to happen. I just spent some time oh, before I do that. Uh, this is where Kharkiv is, and Russia is really close. It's like 20 kilometers from the border of Kharkiv, and it's it could be in jeopardy. But I don't think that's what's happening, at least not at this stage. I just spent the last, um, I, I talked about this this morning, and then I just spent the last hour, a um, little over an hour, with Greg Terry talking about it, pulling out the map, seeing what's going on. And and basically it comes down, are they trying to take Kharkiv? Are they, is it a feint for some reason? Or are they just testing the lines? And, and we went over everything with a fine tooth comb. So go and watch that if that's of interest to you. Thank you. That's big story number one. Big story number two, U.S. allocates $400 million in military aid to Ukraine. Bradley uh, infantry fighting vehicles, surface-to-air missiles, Patriots, Stingers, 155 millimeter and 105 artillery shells, javelins, all those kind of good things that they really need to have in order to take the fight back to the enemy. Okay, big, well, not to be outdone, before I go on to big story number three, Canada just ponied up another... 76 million Canadian dollars, that's uh, 56, 56 or so million U.S. dollars for a German-led initiative that aims to quickly source and deliver air defense systems to Ukraine to fend off Russian attacks. Far better to prevent than have to rebuild because this air, uh, the, these rockets are getting through air defense artillery that they just don't have. Big story number three. Putin was meeting today with the Supreme Eurasian Economic Council. Now, he was just re-elected for the fifth time, but but this is, I think, how Putin really sees himself as the leader of all these various countries that Russia is the, at the center of. Uh, the picture tells you a lot. What countries? Uh, Alexander Lukashenko of Belarus, the president of Kazakhstan, the president of Kyrgyzstan, prime minister of Armenia, chairman of the board of the Eurasian Economic Council, and then some observers from Cuba and Uzbekistan and other places. That's the way I think Putin's really seeing himself as he's trying to expand into Ukraine and has taken parts of Georgia and is pulling Georgia into its orbit um, and may even have more plans for Moldova or other places. Okay, last thing. I just saw this on Twitter. Uh, Andrew Mercado beat me to the punch. My MUGA hat is still in transit from UPS. I'm like following it on my phone to see when it's going to get here, but he beat me to the punch and here it is, MUGA. So, hey, Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene, what a wonderful thing you've started, MUGA. All right, that's all that I have. Thanks for the time. Thanks for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, and thank you for being the kind of person that cares about Ukraine.